All right. Anyways, I got to wait for the dupes to finish this, though. <laughs> so what I'm planning to do is vacuuming this so that it's all CO2 still. I don't want the oxygen getting in. And then having this basically expand downwards for some more power distribution. Even though we're cooling it pretty temper uh, pretty nicely. Very temperate inside. I mean, I roll in power in my game. I just finish my sour gas and methane setup. I hook up 24 natural gas generators. Jeez, Christ. I see you over there, Hohenheim. You know what you should do? You should try to run sun lamps on top of solar panels for the meme. <laughs> this costs more power than it generates. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a meme, but it'd be kind of funny to do. Don't do it though, Matt. It's not worth it. What can you use the excessive power for? Man, there's really not much you could use the excessive power for. I hate to say it, but it's true. And then this is going to be above 30 degrees. That should go out that way and start looping. I see you over there, the Hohenheim. Getting sour gas is honestly, man, the biggest flex that you have everything under control. Not gonna lie. Have you ever played SimCity? Yeah, that was the first game I played as a kid. Well, no. First city builder game that I played as a kid. But, uh, yeah. I played it before. Well, the old version. Probably not the current version that they have out right now. But, what about it? What about the Sim Cities? So, what use is a carbon dioxide geyser? Ah! Uh, so, there's a couple things you could do with it. First thing is, there's actually a rocket engine called the uh, carbon dioxide rocket engine that you could use CO2 or carbon dioxide as a fuel source. So this is a rocket engine you could use. The second thing you could use it for is the soda fountain. This is, in my opinion, the best recreational building that you could build that the duplicants should use more often than not. So this is in the same category as the arcade cabinet, espresso machine, hot tub, juicer, sauna, mechanical surfboard, vertical wind tunnel, party line, soda fountain, jukebox, basically from here to here. These 10 recreational buildings, I would recommend the soda fountain over all of them. The power consumption is not too much and it consumes CO2 or carbon dioxide. Now, the reason why this is good is because not only does it give you morale, it gives you one science. One science is actually really good. If you don't know what the one science does, you have two things in this game. You have something called attributes, and then you actually have uh, your interests. So those things are different because your interest is basically the type of jobs you like to do, while your attributes is your actual skill level. So if you have higher science, which is this right here, it will increase your attribute gaining rate by 10%. So that means you will gain athleticism at an increased rate of 10%, meaning that you get faster, faster, which makes no sense, but that's how it works. Outside of that, you could use seal two to put these guys to sleep. If you've ever messed with the betas and the beta hives, these guys, when they consume CO2 gas, pass out. That's another thing to use that for uh, Slicksters. These guys right here, their family, well, not all of them. The Slicksters, in most cases, oh man, I gotta do this, huh? Oh, it's that simple, huh? 
So let me deconstruct this and then let me do this. I got to get rid of the mesh tile as well. These guys consume CO2, the Slicksters, and they give you crude oil. There is another variation of this called the Molten Slickster that consumes carbon dioxide and gives you petroleum. So in that case, it's pretty nice to have. But yeah, using the geysers, you can do a lot of things. Feeding these guys, they consume a lot. I believe it's like 60 grams per second for 600 seconds. So they consume like 3.6 kilograms per cycle. No, 36 kilograms per cycle or something like that. So they consume a lot of gas. So a lot of the times keeping them fed is a little bit difficult. Have you ever streamed SimCity? No, I played it a long, long time ago. I don't even have the game installed on my PC anymore. It was a different PC I had to use back then. My Liquid O2 Hydrogen Radbolt cost a shit ton of power. Oh, <laughs> yeah, if you have Liquid Hydrogen, that's going to cost a lot of power, man. That's a lot of power. Come on. Someone build this. Come on, come on. Nobody? Please, somebody. I don't want them to be cramped forever. I need this one specific tile here, please. Anybody, man? Help me out. Ooh, citrus spandex. Oh man, we're rolling that. All right, who's getting lucky today? So I'm rolling. And we get a 11. Okay. So. Skills. So we're not going to do. So one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. <laughs> it goes back to the top. Ace Cal, congratulations. You are going to be wearing the Citrus Spandex, my friend. I didn't know you are about that life. So that's how we're raffling off the uh, nice outfits. We have to do it that way. So right now I have a cool steam vent that's actually just enough water for full rodriguez i gave up on the hydrogen vent at the moment because i need to rebuild for cooling it the uh, cool salt slush is conveniently dormant at the time the hydrogen vent is active Ooh, the timing for that yeah the, the, the oni will do that to you sometimes <laughs> so a lot of the times you have to stockpile the liquid so that you could use it for cooling uh later on but yeah the game will do that to you <laughs> hey it would be amazing if both these geysers were active at the same time Guess what? They almost never are. <laughs> they don't think be like it is, but it do. Alright, so now I can deconstruct this now. Always, man. Always. The game knows, dude. Anyone deconstructing the tile? And then I could deconstruct the door. And that allows the Slicksters to... Not be able to get out. Nice. And that means they're no longer cramped. Let's go. That means they can lay all the eggs again. Wild, happy, and free. I'm in the middle of building a living module for my dupes, but they're taking their time at the moment. Yeah, man, it happens. Dude, are you doing this? Are you making them live inside of the space fairs like I am? I see you over there, man. I see you over there. <laughs> Wait, 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 no. Wait, wait. So what's a living module? Oh, you're just building a living area? CO2 has a really bad heat capacity, so not really good for cooling. Yeah, it's really bad for cooling. I wouldn't use CO2 for cooling. It's, uh, it's really low. It's like 0 0.008 or something like that. A living area. I got you. Living areas are really nice, man. I like to make the living area so that the dupes don't have to wear suits in it, give them a nice temperature, give them a recreational room, eating area. It's always going to be nice. You got to overload them with decor, dude. 
so that they're always happy. Alright, alright, we gotta do this. I gotta vacuum this out. My dupes gotta hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Alright, that got built. That's a ladder. Aw, oh, come on. Come on, dupes. I need y'all to hurry up. Vacuuming like this just takes forever, man. Oh, this would probably be a lot faster. I didn't think about it, but this is a lot faster. Because they could go through the doors while building it, and the moment we close everything and build everything out, it's a vacuum. That's actually not bad. That way we could have all the dupes supplying, all the dupes building at the same time. And they could still open and close the doors to get inside. It's a weird strat. I think it'll be uh, not too bad, though. I have another question. If you know top of your head, how many hatches would three minor volcanoes feed? Uh, oof. Keep alive or... You're saying just feed, right? Gold metal tile is best for decor. And bump the 120 decor instantly. I like to do window tiles not for the decor but so that i could stack decor in the other rooms i see you over there the hohenheim so let's see if we're talking regular hatches right i'm using stone so it's the same 140 kilo, uh, 140 kg. Okay. So what's the ratio? They eat... How much are they required? Oh, it's 140 per cycle. That's not bad at all. So I actually have a minor volcano. So we get... Oh god. That's really bad math. Let's actually check this out. So I generate... Oh, I don't know active period. That's tough. Active period's gonna be bad. Oh god. I actually don't know, man. I can't answer that. I really can't. But you would need to actually see how active your volcano is, and then you would have to bring out your average amount of magma produced. And then the issue with this is... I'm assuming you're mining your igneous rock into uh, debris tiles that you could feed like this. Because the problem with that is, if you didn't know, every time you mine out a tile, you lose half of the mass. So if you mine this tile of granite, you only get 970 kilograms instead of the full 1840. So it depends on your method, because there's another method that allows you to get the full tile without having to mine it. Meaning that you get all the resources on a 100% rate instead of a 50% from digging. So it technically is dependent on that. You want to use another method without mining. Ah, okay. So if you want to do a lot of hatch ranching... A lot of the times, the best thing to do is to feed sage hatches your extra food. 
but that's tough because a lot of the times you don't want to feed them your extra food <laughs> now if you don't want to do that uh what i usually do when i do a hatch ranching i type in my resources i go into the raw minerals and i pick a rock that i know that i won't use Food gives a lot less coal, though. I guess, but I yeah. If you're using it for coal, I guess. But what I usually do, I go to my resources, I go into the rawls, and then I know that they don't eat mafic. And I do know they eat a lot of sandstone, granite, and sedimentary rock. So I look for one of them that I have over 100 tons. In this case, I'm probably going to feed them sandstone. Because a lot of the times when you're using your raw minerals, they're all interchangeable. Anything that you could use to use, uh, anything you could use sandstone to build, you could usually use igneous or granite. And these two are always going to be better. Always. The one circumstance where sandstone outperforms these two is when you're building temp shift plates. But if you're building sandstone temp shift plates, it's because it's a last resort. Because sandstone is not that conductive, and if you're building something like a research reactor, and you need a lot of temp shift plates so all your steam turbines have better uh, cooling capabilities, you're better off using sandstone because you need to build a lot. But in the case that you don't need to worry about that, usually I would feed my sandstone in this circumstance, because I have 230 uh, tons of it. Oh yeah, try to get stone hatches. That could be the easy thing to do. You could do a box where all the uh, regular hatches go in and die, and then you just raise stone hatches. <laughs> you could also, can you feed these guys igneous? If they can, you could just keep feeding them igneous. That's not bad. Because if you have 700 tons, that's going to last a long time. A long, long time. Crush the rock. Oh, they don't eat igneous. Feels bad. Yeah, food evolution chamber. Nice. Do a pip ranch use dirt to feed? Yeah, that, that works too. If you have uh, pips, that works really well. Feeding them the dirt from the arbitrary farm. Because I have a lot of dirt. 400 tons. That's probably what I would use to feed my hatches. Just the dirt. Now, honestly... If you have a lot of other resources, you could feed them sand, and that's what I would actually recommend. If you didn't know, sand you get from a lot of the things you rock crush. If you have something called salt, you could crush salt and get the same amount of sand back, and then you get table salt. This is plus morale, if you didn't know, that your duplicates will use at the meal table. There'll be a little bit of a salt shaker icon right there as well. And if you click on it, it will say plus one morale from the salt shaker. So you could use that, crush all your salt into table salt so your dupes could eat it. And then you get sand from that. And then not only that, you could crush your other rocks like granite, igneous, obsidian into sand. And hatches eat sand. So that's another thing if you, you know run out of whatever you're feeding them. Because a lot of the time, sand is very lucrative because a lot of things crush into it. And then later on, when you get to the end game, you find other places on the other maps. You could start mining from them. So you could technically have that last forever. All right, all right. So we need to make this, I guess. Hmm. I don't have enough brine, huh? Uh, I guess I could do this. Meme strats. I vaporize salt water and aqua tuner slash turbine cooling loop. That works. That works. I believe the ratio is the same. Whether or not you vaporize it or run it through a desalinator, it's exactly the same amount. Uh, if you were to run polluted water through a sieve versus boiling polluted water in a steam turbine room, you're better off sieving it. You actually get 5% of your polluted water as dirt if you were to run it on a sieve. 
but if you were to boil it in a steam turbine room, you get 2% of the uh, uh, volume into dirt. So technically, sieving it is going to be better for polluted water only. But the salt, I believe, the same trade-off. So I need to drip some of the cold water in here. That's true. Well, hmm, it depends, Xkage. Because you're t uh, usually running like an aqua tuner to generate the heat anyways. <laughs> you don't have a lot of things that naturally go over 100 degrees. Unless, of course, you have a volcano. In which case, yeah, man, that's all natural. That's all natural. I'm out of water? We out of water, fam. Now nah, we go, we go, we go. I don't think dropping molten glass on here will immediately vaporize. Oh, you use a metal volcano. That works too. That works too. You gotta hope that volcano doesn't go dormant, man. We should be fine. And then I gotta turn that off. All right, so that's good. Uh, we should be able to do this. Also deconstruct the bottom door. Come on, come on. Oxygen is looking good, man. It's looking pretty great. Take the fertilizer. I can't wait to get Paku, man. I need to start feeding them seeds. And my Arbor Tree Farm is done. Nice. I want to get another layer, though. Alright, so all the other beds are relocated. Everything should be fine. Oh, I see you, Xkage. Yeah, I mean, whatever works. Whatever works. As long as it gets the job done, right? Alright, alright. Can we get this deconstructed? Or can they not reach? They should be able to do that. What? Oh, we deconstructed the pipeline? Ah, uh, feels bad. <laughs> oh, I made a mineable tile accidentally. No. Not like this. <laughs> I accidentally made a mineable tile. Feels bad, guys. Accidents happen, man. I joined at a silly time. No worry, Hatchling. All good, man. It happens. All good, all good. Nothing weirder is going on. We got this, we got this. I just done goofed. You know how it would be sometimes? How you doing, Hatchling? How's the Thursdays, man? How you doing? And of course, what is Kraken? Wait, no cons- Oh, I deconstructed that over here. You gotta get the power there. Sleepy, sleepy. Yo, man. You had a long day, it sounds like. Eggs for breakfast? Man, I'm not gonna lie, man. There was a time period where I had a fried egg sandwich every morning. And now I've never had eggs in like, man, maybe even, maybe a year. It's been a while, man. All right, so now we have some transformers that we're gonna need once. Need to what? Well, want to have. 
and run the line. Oh, I guess we just run the joint plate right there. And then we get the conductive wire going out to the glass forge. Oh, you asked me what's cracking. Oh, I see you, man. Eggs for breakfast. I see you. I didn't catch that. That went right over my head, man. You know, sometimes, man, it'd be one of those days. I feel like a smooth brain. I know I'm playing Oni, but that has nothing to do with that. <laughs> feel like that sometimes, man. Something died over here. Feels bad. I should probably try to save it. Oh, and this is ready. Uh, I haven't turned this on yet. There we go. All right. We got to get this to minus 69. Let's go. One of the first things I do after starting my game is put building on deconstruct tool. I mess things so many times. Dude, I feel that, man. Yeah. You're talking about this so that you don't deconstruct the back of power lines, back of pipelines and vent lines. That makes sense. How the hell? What? What? X Kage, what did you type? What are you talking about? Is that how to pronounce your name? Is that, is that what that is? How to pronounce your name? That's what that looks like. I keep saying X Kage because there's an X and then it's Cage, but then it's like, what if he's, you know, a fan of Naruto? So I was like, oh yeah, he's a Kage, like a Hokage. <laughs> and it never got corrected, so I was like, oh, he's probably a fan. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have to, like, 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 what's, what's, is it spelled exactly how your name is spelled? Because I need to go to Google and Google it because they have the phonetics that have, they have the guy in the computer speak it for you because I have no idea how to read that. Like, real talk, man, I, I'm lost. I feel like I was watching the, the second season of Lost without watching the first season. I have no idea what's going on. X Cage. So X and Cage like Prison Cage. I see you. X Cage, X Cage. Why does it say Scotch? Or is it... Oh, IK is X, and then it's... Ah, I see. The S is carried over. X Cage. I got you. Am I saying it right? Or is it still kind of wrong? <laughs> I don't know, man. If it's right or wrong. Who really knows? Alright, so we got the new power. We're able to make glass. The glass is getting chilled immediately. This is good for me. And then this is going to go out to the forge. We fine, man. All right, all right. Cool, cool. X cage, I got you, man. I'll Google it when I'm done with stream today. All right, so now that we have glass, I could potentially start setting up solar panels so that we can start doing the telescoping outside. That's actually why I needed to do that. So... I think I will make it like this. And then put a door right there. Yo, man, my English is, is really bad. I'm very sorry. Did this guy tweet it out? There's a new patch for console players, and all the replies are... <laughs> Dude, you have to understand that anything Cities does at this point is only going to be received negatively. They took way too long to give us a sequel. To the point where the the fan base is getting angry. And if they don't do anything soon, the moment another game comes out, that's better. And as much like like creative a lot of creative options. If that comes out, they're gonna lose their fan base forever. 
And that's actually going to hurt them a lot more than not coming out or risking an innovative idea for a new video game. I saw that. I don't think there's anything to do at the moment. Reputation is ruined. Honestly, the same. The only thing they could do is release the sequel. Or stop coming up with patches. Like, they're not helping at this point. They need to understand that. They're only hurting themselves. But it's like, you know, they're never going to listen to us. <laughs> they're just going to keep doing what makes money. Also, stop doing crash, uh, cash grab DLCs. See, the thing is, is that they justify their performance by doing those DLCs. All right, I am in need of real help, though. How do I make it so not all the eggs are swept from the room? Are you talking about doing a... Hmm. So, so what I would recommend doing... So I'm guessing this is what's happening. You have a ranch room. Right? You have, you have a typical ranch room. Something like this. Right? This is the typical ranch room setup. And you have a sweeper. And it sweeps out all the eggs so you don't get a cramped situation. There's nothing you could do about that. The only thing you could do is make a refill room that automatically allows you to have your duplicates wrangle a critter and move them to the correct room. That's actually what this room is for me. So this is a refill room. A refill room is when my critter count drops below eight, in which case I have nine right now, which shouldn't be the case. Oh, is there an egg here somewhere? How am I at nine? I'm actually at nine Drekos? Why am I at nine Drekos? I, I gotta kill one of these guys. I'm sorry, man. The elderly guy right here has gotta die. So... So what happens is, is that... If I have fewer critters... Your Chester doesn't count eggs, so it's all Drekos. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta kill one of them. Feels bad. So what happens is, is that I'll kill one of these guys... And then you'll see what happens. So what happens is, is that when I fall under, my door closes right here. And when the door closes, the critter drop off works because the critter drop off is on a floating tile. So when this happens, a dupe is going to come to the critter drop off and wrangle a glossy Drago and relocate it to this room. So you're going to need a room like that because in your breeding room, you, you want it to auto fill up. Now, if you don't want to do a complicated design like this, you could always just have an incubator. And you don't have to plug it in because if you have an incubator inside, your dupes are going to automatically put an egg inside if there's power or not. You just have to select the egg type. And then afterwards, when the egg hatches, your duplicates will have to move it to another room. So if you have this on max priority, they will move it into here if it's not maxed out. So mine's at seven out of eight. So they would move another glossy Draco into here so that it's eight out of eight. So you have a couple ways to do it. But you will always, always sweep all the eggs. There's nothing you could do about that. All the eggs are always gonna be swept. I understand how that works, but I don't want to wait stoop time. If you don't want to do that, there's something called the critter drop method. So if you had a, a normal setup like this, you could set up a critter drop. Right? And this extends, right? So we're going to have the normal station like that. Grooming, critter drop off, and then you have critter feeder. What you could do is set up a critter drop just like this. What happens is, well, 
this door is locked. Right? So I'm going to signify that with that. This is going to be where your eggs get dropped off. Right? Now, the problem with this is that if you have too many critters, you're going to get overcrowded and they're not going to be happy and you're not going to get as many eggs. So typically, you're going to need a sensor in this room where if you have... Well, no. Yeah, well, yeah. If you have less than eight critters, you allow this to, to work. And then what you need to do is there's a critter sensor here and you just set it up like this. And what happens is that when the eggs hatch, the door opens. And then when they walk into the doors, they're out of the room. And the critter sensor forces closes the doors and then they fall back to the bottom floor. This works flawlessly. I've done designs like this for hatch ranches all the time. The only problem is, is that when you do a vertical ranch like this, you can't stack your ranches cleanly. So I do vertical ranches instead of horizontal ones. So my ranches are like this. And then at the bottom, I have my grooming station. And then I do a critter drop on the top. So what happens is that they hatch. They walk here, fall down. And then you only let them fall down if you have fewer critters than eight. And you have to do like a little bit of an and gate automation. But once you do have that, and they walk out, auto refill. I could sandbox mode show you exactly how that works. But that will be in a little bit of time. Once we uh, are ready to start wrapping up the uh, stream. So uh, Xcage, if you're still here at the end of the stream, remind me. I'll show you exactly how to do the critter drop setup. And I'll show you an example of it in action as well. Put a shoot in your egg shipping line. One, two eggs behind a lock if you have enough critters. And then critter not enough door automatically. And then one or two egg actually hatch. Go by themselves. Room for the ranching. That kind of works too. I see you Hohenheim. I see you over there. But yeah, if you don't want duplicates to do it, critter drop method is probably going to be the best. Oh, you see this? All this gas. Oh, God. Man, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a vent right here just to grab the oxygen. <laughs> like, they need to fill this up, man. I can't be having this like that. And then over here, I wanted regular pipes. And then if we need more, we'll put the occasional radiant piping in here. Alright, so we need to make glass. Let's make a lot of it. This should be okay to handle. I need to start tracking my glass. Okay, we have enough for one. We get a little bit of this mined out. Auto save lag. Right there. And then once we get that, we're going to start setting up the outside space telescope so that we could start with that. Should be not too bad. Not bad, not bad. All right, so there we go. So all the extra oxygen comes out. We'll fill it up and pressurize the room. This pipe is already done. So I go like this. And then I also go like this. And then I cut this line and it should be the same. And then this allows the water to cool down my room before going into my electrolyzers. Easy. Okay, so my issue is to ex to explain it further is that I can automatic eggs to come back, but the sweeper puts the eggs inside the loader, even though our loader is disabled. And I do need the sweeper, or would prefer to leave it on because I need to sweep the plastic and the phosphor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The egg, the critter drop method I'm gonna show you goes around that. You're not gonna have to worry about that. But uh, yeah, the critter drop method. Once you see it in action, you're gonna be like, wow, that's perfect. It's just a little bit bulky in how you have to place it on top of your ranch. 
that's really the only downside. It's it's a little bit bulky. All right, all right. So, got the glass. Get the door. Nice. And then let's build that just to go outside. I'm going to need solar panels. I'll probably just build it right here because I don't want to go too far out. My ranches are vertical too, so no problem. Nice. Vertical ranches, they benefit the most from the uh, critter draw method, which is why I uh, like that method more than the other ones. Okay. So at this point, oxygen is here. Guys, guess what we're going to do? We're finally going to be going into space. I can't believe it. We could send Cthulhu back to the Gulag. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Cthulhu always at the Gulag. To space and infinity! I see you, Buzz Lightyear. What's going on, Dino Dots? I see you over there, man. Did you see the RTX on Buzz Lightyear picture for Toy Story, dude? That thing, that thing caught me off guard, man. Cthulhu, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> we gotta send you back. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. I have not, dude. He looks like a cop. <laughs> a lot of people were saying that, dude. He looks just like a cop, dude. What the hell? Mamba. I hear you, babies. I hear you, I hear you. Oh, I can't mine that. I'll have to do that then. And then I'll mine this right there. Mamba wants his head roms. Yeah, this is around the time I, I wrap up stream. But I want to continue streaming a little bit longer. Mamba knows he has that biological clock kind of just tuned in. Oh, this is starting to overheat. That's impressive. I don't need that anymore, so it's going to be fine. <gasps> There's no more CO2. Is this a meme? Oh my god, alright. I guess it's time. I need to do this. If I could do this flawlessly, we could put CO2 on this tile. Oh, a little bit of salt water got out. Feels bad. Pump it up, boys. Pump it up. Take it out of there. Hopefully I mop up that tile enough. And then I put airflow here so the CO2 floats up. Nice. We got all the salt water out. Let's go. Oh, look at that sweet, sweet CO2. Oh, look at them breeze, dude. All of them deep inhales. Deep, deep inhales, man. Look at that. <laughs> they're just, they're like, oh my god, we could eat again. Feels good, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, so this room should be cooling down slightly. 16 degrees is not too bad. And it looks like we could speed up a little bit of the cooling. So let me put one here, here, and here. Three radiant pipes. Making that glass still. Alright. We're probably going to have to move this, but... But for now, let's just have the uh, solar panels right there. And then I need to build something called the enclosed telescope. Which will go right there. And then I need to pump out some oxygen. Which we'll probably do down here. So I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to run run it through a normal filter. Just because I, I don't want to deal with it. And then... Oh, that's five tiles. What am I going to filter out? It shouldn't be a lot. It shouldn't be a lot. One, two, three, four, five. 
to build the reservoir. And then this should just go into here. And then we have this come out. Now, this is going to be oxygen, so it can't freeze. So, bam, bam, bam. Perfect. All we're going to need for that is power. We'll probably have to pull it off of this line. We're not using a lot of this anyway, so it should be fine. And then that setup, this setup, and we'll be done. And we'll start space scanning. So we're going to use the solar power to power the telescope. And then we'll use it to power other things as well. Just need to get it started. And I need a battery bank. Oh, that's where this occurs. Aha. Uh -huh. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Igneous is one SHC. Dirt is one, four, eight. Mafic is 0. 0.2. So Mafic is what I want to mine out every time. So it's kind of like that. SHC of copper is 0. 0.38. Okay, I got to get rid of the copper as well. So we will do a tunnel like this for our first battery bank. Because what it is is that you're looking at the thermal energy of the cold, you know, space ice up here. You're looking for a specific heat capacity. Anything that's, you know, a lower value than its counterpart, you want to mine it out. Just because it's not holding as much thermal energy, a lot of it is really just in the igneous and the dirt. Outside of that, everything else I should try to mine as they're not holding as much thermal energy. So by putting the battery banks here, I don't have to worry about cooling them down. As the solar panels are just going to keep that active. And it should be good. Got to wait for the wires. The oxygen, man. Looking really good. Okay, so this is done. It's pressurized. So I'll remove everything there. It's getting cooler. It used to be at 56. Not bad, not bad. I do want to reduce some of the gas levels, though. I do want to reduce a little bit of the gas level. So I need to put some door crushers at the bottom again. <laughs> and I'll finally be able to tap into the cool steam vents. I wonder if the Slicksters are going to be able to eat all my CO2 from down here. That's a little bit impressive if they can. And then I will crush the Chlorine. There we go. Get rid of the Chlorine boys. We have way too much. Okay, our food storage is ready. So let's finish this. Uh, I need another rail over here. That's going to come from the outside. And that's because duplicants tend to always want to deliver food to the uh, grills directly. And I'm not going to allow people that are not cooks to go inside. So that way, you know, it becomes a little bit more manageable. Now, of course, I still need power over here. Which I probably need to pull from something. Oh, over here. Because I'm not going to need the suit forge. I could probably get rid of the salinator as well. Ooh. -hoo. Maybe. Alright, anyways, I need to get a conductive wire connected. So let's go start it with that. And then hide the wires. Might as well. This line on, on this line could work. Aqua Tutor is not always too active. Actually, now that I'm cooling down the oxygen, it kind of is. Otherwise, though, it's doing pretty good. This one is barely active. Hamster wheels. I need to start having... Oh, my filters. Okay, so shipping. So this, of course, goes into the uh, storage tab for things that are cooking ingredients in terms of edible stuff things that i need to cook
and then everything else is either non-perishable or not something you cooked once or even twice. Now this one is going to be purely edible ingredients that are finished cooking, so grub for preserves, omelets, and I haven't even cooked yet, so it feels bad. Yep, we're going to be playing Cities tomorrow, Rambo. Hey Rambo dude, good news, you did not get yourself killed even one time today. Down from your record of six times on Tuesday. <laughs> so props to you, man. Your dupe is learning. Your dupe is learning, man. That level three day, maybe it was. RZ Kali, what's good? How are you today? How is the Thursdays? Hope you're doing well. But what is good, you guys? How you guys doing today? Ooh. Uh, will, will, will you get... Will, will anyone get banned for TOS? As long as no one gets banned, it's fine. As long as no one breaks TOS, we're fine. I don't know. I don't think so. All right, man. If you have fates, you go for it. But if you're thinking twice, all right, man, we'll, we'll hear it another day. <laughs> but yo, man, if you think it's good. Oh, God. What do you call someone who puts frosting on people's butts? Uh, what? I'm worried, man. <laughs> what a way. What, what a, what a, what a lead in, dude. I wonder what the punchline is. A cake decorator. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Come on, man. How is that the punchline? Oh my god, that punchline is 100% slang. I see you though, RZ Call. I see you over there. I had to rub my eyes on that one. Now my eyes hurt. Ugh. Cake decorator. What a guy. Y'all see this guy, RZ Call. It's more of a pun line. Yeah, it's true. It's more of a pun. It's more of a pun. I see you over there, though. You know, I didn't know that was slang until, like, TikTok came out. <laughs> it's kind of weird to say that, but it's true. I didn't know that was slang until TikTok came out, man. Is there mods for this game? Yep, 100%. There's a lot of stuff you could mod, add in. Uh, there's a mod where we could build something called paintings. Right? A blank canvas. You could actually use a mod to put custom pictures on here. And I'm thinking about downloading that to put the Mamba emotes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a lot of mods for this game. Mamba, I hear you babies. Completely unmoderated. <laughs> All right, all right. So did we get to the top? We're waiting for more solar panels. I'm probably going to have you walk wire this, realistically. Just to do that for now, we can get our jumbo batteries as storage. Ah. I will try to come in from the top from that. Okay. That's tough, but I guess it's fine. There's also a mod for more marble figures. They're kind of cute. I think I've seen that. I've seen. I think I've seen some people use that. I, I think there was like a Pip statue or something like that. Do you use mods? I, I use very little, for the most part. I use very little. The only mod I would recommend is, well, here's my mod list. That's my mods. So smart mop means if there's a puddle on the ground. And I don't want to mop up the entire puddle by dragging my cursor. I could look for a puddle, click on it, and it mops up the whole thing for me. So that's a quality of life thing. I use another mod called Pliers. I'd recommend this. Uh, fixed Camera Pan is just to pick up FPS. And then uh, there's Sweet by Type that I think should be base game. 
right here. This allows you to sweep exactly the items you want. If you don't have the mod, this becomes a sweep all button. There's no menu that pops up. So it's very convenient. Now outside of that, uh, DGSM allows you in the beginning of the game to choose exactly what dupes you want to utilize. I try not to do any cheating with that by getting, you know, overpowered dupes. But uh, for the most part, it's very convenient because a lot of the times I would spend 30 minutes rolling anyways. Off the bed, have a good night, take care of more decks, rest well, rest easy, and yo, we'll see you next time. Have a good one, dude. And good to hear that the back has recovered. Alright, so we're going to start to relocate the foods. Oh, 5% stale. I have to let that rot. <laughs> and then... I need to get power here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we got to get that. The suit forge is no longer going to be a thing. So we do that. And then that's 480 watts. This is 540. And then the only other thing is the desalinator. I might be able to get away with it, to be honest. Because I don't think we use the sweepers too often here. So I'll have a power line connected just like that for the time being. Oh, wait a second. Could I connect it to this line? Oh, I could. Do I want to? I probably should. Auto save lag. Mamba's mad. He wants to go outside. <laughs> he wants to go outside. The Mamba's is angry. Oh, I clicked the buildings. Ah, oh, I was wondering why I was not deconstructing the conductive wire. Baby, come here. Not yet. Give me a little bit of time. Oh, the suits got to be uh, put back. Someone's got to repair the suits. All right. So now that we have this, everything seems to be pretty good. All the CO2 is gone, which is fine. Chlorine's being crushed. We're reducing a little bit of space down there. I need to mine this out. And then seal up the chlorine. Keep mining down. So I should mine this. I could walk from the bottom. Might as well trim that. Y'all hear the Mambas in the back? He really wants my attention right now. I will put a ladder here just to get to here, in case someone gets stuck. And I will do that. Give me one second, you guys. We back. Sorry about that. We good, we good. All is good. No worries. Just got to continue some of the mines. Should be fine. I need to get to here. I need to free those Sweetles. Nice. All right. So that should be okay. I need to do something about the gases. At least it's lower. Dude, I haven't... Ooh, what's for dinner tonight? Probably spaghetti. Honestly, it's probably spaghetti. Probably gonna have some spaghetti. You know what it is. Alright, so we gotta wait for the builders up top. I shouldn't have them continue building then, because they're a little bit slow. At least for now. I should get a sweep here, just for the general sweepers. And then I need to start stockpiling CO2. Because I need to start doing my CO2 rockets for uh, rocket launches. So I need to start making some platforms. So, one, two, three, four. This is technically a level. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
So we'll have it like this. And then we'll build some CO2 reservoirs up top right here. Should be fine. You're warming up some leftover roast beef and rice. Nice, nice. Have you guys ever used something that's like carbs as a topping or ingredient inside of a sandwich? Like, have you guys ever put mashed potatoes in a sandwich? <laughs> Asking for a friend, man. Have you guys ever done that? And we're going to take these pumped gases and take them out because we're no longer pumping for there. As I don't think we need to. So we get rid of that, get rid of this, and start deconstructing. That's a chlorine filter. And then it's a overpass. That goes into another storage that comes out for an oxygen filter. That I should deconstruct. And then we will have this connect. Kind of like right here. No, lol, it's actually pretty good, man. Have you never done the Thanksgiving leftover sandwich? Where you just take bread and put everything left over from Thanksgiving inside of the sandwich and you just kind of eat it like that? Have you never done that, dude? Holy crap. I'm pretty sure there's something called a stadium that would charge you $30. <laughs> oh, I just do turkey and gravy. Oh, I see a Rambo. Dude, man, sometimes you got you got cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, gravy, uh, green bean casserole, turkey, chicken. Uh, you know, depends on uh, what you guys like to eat. Cold turkey with mayo is good too. I mean, that's a normal sandwich though. Nothing about that screams Thanksgiving. Because turkey has been one of the things that I feel like just become a sandwich staple. Like, oh yeah, you have that in a sandwich. That's normal. That's true. Not the lunch meat turkey. It's like actual, like, meat you pulled apart from the turkey itself. That's true. Have you ever made a, a turkey sandwich, Rambo? And then you warmed up some hot gravy and you dipped it like it was pastrami. <laughs> I'm not trying to get you guys fat, but, you know, sometimes you got some ideas like that. <laughs> like, man, if you haven't, you're missing out, man. I got to be real. That stuff is delicious. I've done open-faced hot turkey sandwich. Ooh, that sounds bomb. I've never even thought to put mash in a sandwich. It's underrated. I want to say it's criminally underrated. Mashed potatoes in a sandwich. I feel like it's similar to people that put potato chips inside of a sandwich. If you guys have never done that. Have you ever enjoyed mashed potato pancakes after Thanksgiving? Not mashed potato pancakes, but do you know what a croquette is? I've done that. The, uh, you kind of mix everything together and then you stuff it into mashed potatoes and then you deep fry the mashed potatoes. And then it's called a croquette. I use chips and sandwiches is really good. Yeah, man, people don't know about that. It's, it's delicious. You get a little bit of crunch and you get so much flavor. Oh my God. That's something people do at Potluck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 
while my wife is listening and is asking why I don't make croquettes, you're getting me in trouble. Guys, let's talk about mortgages. <laughs> let's start talking about mortgages, man. Guys, did you guys have to refinance your house back in 2008? And then you guys wrote over your freaking I, uh, your uh, Roth IRA, and then you lost money because of that? But then it was because it was a recession. And then it was like, you had to do it. But then it's like, now you look back, you just like you would have thought to yourself, I shouldn't have rolled it, dude. Feels bad. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. We bought while the market was way down, luckily. Oh, dude, yeah, dude. I mean, here's the thing. The further back you go, the lower the price is, right? It's, it's what you call a bull market, right? That, I believe that's the terminology they use, where the price only goes up as long as time passes. Mortgages are at a 20-year lows right now. Oh, it is? Oh, shit. I don't even know. I mean, isn't that because it's tied to the government rates and bonds and stuff? So because of that, it's kind of like, well, it's, it's low because we're in a bad predicament. Stupid at the moment, though. Eight years tripled value. Yo, goddamn. Property tax is going to be a bitch. Yo, man. Property tax. They don't know about that, man. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. And it really do be like that sometimes. I'm going to go with 19 right here. I don't know. I'm just goofing on those ads for home refinancing. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. So, guys, I got a question. I got a question. If there's something known as a dream car, because I'm not that into cars. So to me, I don't have a dream car, so to speak. So I don't really care about those. So I got to ask you guys, though that you guys that do have a dream car that you guys want to have. Would you guys refinance your house so that you could afford the dream car? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Legit, how do I check CPU temp and GPU temp while playing AAA games? Uh, you can only do CPU temp. Well, let me see. Are you on Windows 10? Windows 11? Which one are you on, Sanrath? Have you tried a sandwich with Nutella and cheese? Who? Who? What the hell? Who invited this guy? What the hell kind of a travesty of idea is that? It's great. Try it. I feel like I'm getting set up. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting set up. I'm about to waste some Nutella, waste some cheese, take a bite out of it and be like, this is garbage. I could, Im I could imagine that with maybe like a sweeter cheese because there are dessert cheeses out there, but I can't, uh, there's, there's no way that's good, man. Is there anything that's comparable? Like maybe there's a, there's a dish that uses cheese and chocolate no it's very tasty is there anything comparable to it all right uh sandwraith do you know what task manager is do you know what task manager is printing pod gave me three dupes with iron gut is it telling me some ace cow man check the germs <laughs> check the germs man Make sure they're not eating anything with food poisoning on it, man. Maybe it's a German thing, huh? I mean, I have heard of a lot of things like... I heard it's popular in Norway to put banana as a pizza topping. And when I heard that, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> holy shit, man. All right, so the thing is, Sanrath, if you go to performance tab on your task manager, it will tell you the temperature of your GPU. Now, it's only your GPU it will tell you the temperature of. If you want to see the temperature of your CPU, you have to use a third-party program. A lot of the times, I use CPU-Z, like what Ace Cal was saying. And there is another one called... Uh, which, which company is that? MSI Afterburner? That's also really good. 
because MSI Afterburner also lets you control the fan speed RPM rate inside of your case and also allows you to change the thresholds. So the Afterburner is pretty nice. But yeah, usually you could only see just your GPU if you go to the performance tab. But for the most part, yeah, you need a third party program, dude. So loaning against your home is worse than getting a loan on a car. I, I see, I see. I mean, I guess sometimes you don't have a thing, but it's like, how much of it is are you willing to sacrifice? <laughs> I know someone that uh, that put a that put a lien on their house so that they could get a Tesla, and they thought that in the long term they save money on gas. They're laughing at me now though, because fucking gas prices are expensive. <laughs> Holy shit, man! They're like, you should have took a lien on your house to get a Tesla too. I'm like, I don't fucking own a house. What are you talking about? Yeah, most GPU makers have an app, a bunch of info on it. It's pretty good. We eat uh, Nutella and banana on a toast. Yeah, I do that too. I do Nutella and banana. It's pretty good. It's like a breakfast sandwich or a dessert sandwich. No peanut butter, man. Peanut butter is not bad, though. Banana on pizza is a thing. Yeah, uh, I, I, I've heard about that from Norway, and I thought it was like ultimate travesty, dude. Holy crap. The weirdest thing on pizza is cashews. Why would you put nuts on a pizza? That sounds really weird. That sounds really weird, man. Not gonna lie. It's great, man. It's popular in Northwest. What? Are, well, I mean, you can't... Is it just cashews? And cheese? Like, what else would, what, what could you have? Like, it's not just cashews and cheese, right? There's got to be, a, like, a mix of ingredients. Alright, so... Ethanol is fine. Looks like we have a lot of CO2, so I'm not worried. Pizza and broccoli, chicken, and sauce hollandaise? That sounds like chicken alfredo pizza. Which isn't too far-fetched. A lot of people, I think I've seen that done. No, what I get is spicy sausages, cream cheese base with cashews and pepperoncinis. Oh, that sounds not bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know what those are. Those are banana peppers. That's the best way to translate them. They're small little peppers that have a little bit of sourness and a little bit of spiciness to it. Banana peppers is probably the word you're looking for. Pepperoncinis, banana peppers, I believe it's very similar. And it's comparable. Like, if you were to describe it to other people, they would call it different names, but depending on where they're from, it'd be similar. Yeah, it's, it's very close. It's very close. I mean, that's the reason why they have different names, right? It's kind of like, did you drink it or did you eat it? It's two different things. But it's like both ways you consume something. Very close, though. I see what you mean, Rambo. Alright, so the oxygen... Oh, I fucked up! Oh my god, I fucked up! <laughs> That's so stupid. I made the oxygen go into the storage instead of the filtered output. I'm so Papega, man. Oh, it's because I didn't choose... Y'all ever fuck up, man, and it's really just your fault. <laughs> Y'all ever fuck up, and it's really just your fault, man. Yeah, that's what happened to me today. I messed up. Now, the good news is, is that it's all oxygen. Banana peppers, less spicy. Makes sense. It would make sense. My wife likes pepperoni, pineapple, and cashews. You should make your wife try... That combination on pasta. <laughs> She's probably going to hate it, man. Because it sounds unappetizing. What is funny for me is that the bell peppers, German is like paprika. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a little bit weird. 
paprika over here is like smoked and dried and then grounded up into the uh, paprika powder that we use. But yeah, I, I believe that's like um, just how you guys call it. And I believe that because of that, some people get it mixed up. And when you're like reading a cookbook from another country, sometimes the things like that doesn't translate well. <laughs> they kind of soften a bit from the heat. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right, nice. So we got the oxygen in out. Oh, the cashews. That's what you're saying. Okay. That's pretty good. If the if the cashews are soft, because I thought they were gonna give you a crunch still. That's what I was expecting. All right, so far so good. We got our glass. Everything is doing pretty great. We're gonna start the space scanning, and I think one of the things we'll start soon is our first rocket launch system. Shouldn't be too bad though. We're not gonna need like a lot of space for that. Almost like a boiled peanut. I've had boiled peanuts, man. They're underrated, man. It's really good. I don't know how they season it inside the shells, but it's still pretty good. Also funny is eggplant. Mostly in the world, it's uh, called... I can't even pronounce that. <laughs> but yo, man, I'm gonna go with eggplant. Do you know why it's called eggplant? Over here in America. Have you ever seen that growing? Have you seen a picture of that while it's growing? It looks exactly like an egg on a stick. Look up young eggplants. It literally looks like a white egg growing off of a stick. And then as it ripens, it elongates and turns purple. That's the reason why eggplant is called eggplant. It's it, when I saw that I was like, no way, this is this is real. This has got to be photoshopped. They're like, no, that's just how eggplants look like. And I was like, wow, that's impressive, dude. You get have you get Google it, dude. Trust me, Google it. You'll see what I'm seeing. I saw it. It looks like an egg, right? It looks like an egg that a chicken lays out, a hundred percent, and it's just growing off of a stick. Dude, that it's impressive. That's all I gotta say. All right, so at this point, I think same with pineapple. Yeah, pineapple starts off like um, like a bush almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pineapple is another one. Amazed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those things are impressive, man. There's so many things in the world like that that it's like you see the final product every day. But when you see it growing, it's like, how did I not know about this? Right? It's like, like your wife, she likes pineapple on her pizza. If she's never seen that before, she would have been like, wow, that's pineapple, you know, kind of a deal. It's kind of crazy, man. We're, we're being spoon fed too many like spark notes and we don't get to see like how it actually begins. Have you ever seen what they get chocolate from? It looks like brains or something. Yeah, cocoa seeds. It's white. It looks nothing like chocolate. And then watching them make chocolate out of it is very impressive. Because it's so painstakingly long. How you have to cook the cocoa, get the seeds out, and then you only have certain parts that's edible. Oh my god. The chocolate tearing process is insane. Have you ever heard of cat coffee? Yeah. It's the one where they have the cats and it's not a regular cat, it's a certain breed of cat that they eat the coffee beans and poop it out. Right? That's the cat coffee beans you're talking about. I've seen that. I haven't tried it and I am a coffee drinker. I don't know if I would want to try that though. <laughs> When I first saw that and they explained it to me, so here's the thing. I used to work in the food manufacturing business as an accountant, used to. And one of the things that we sold as a company, so I get to learn a little bit about the process, was coffee. 
and one of my uh, sales reps that I have to forecast for and all that, they used to talk to me about like the different types of coffee there was because we were getting into the coffee market. And he was like, dude, did you know in parts of uh, South America, they, they actually feed cats coffee and they poop it out. But like the cat's internal body temperature is the perfect temperature to process the beans. And it's a natural process. And he was talking about that. And I was like, dude, you smoking some, huh? I kind of smell it. Because, <laughs> man, you speaking some crazy shit right there, man. You talking about a cat eating beans and then we consume that afterwards? Like, dog, you tripping. I told that to his face. He's like, no, nah, no, nah, man. I was, I'm being real. <laughs> and I was like, man, I'm just shaking my head. Like, he's, trying to, he's, trying to, he's trying to get me with a gotcha moment gotcha like nah nah you're not gonna get me man i didn't believe him but it was real i saw the uh it's not national geographic but i saw one of the shows that was basically going over that the chocolate smells horrible dude man somehow some way man whose job is it to pick through the cat honestly man who knows i wouldn't want to do that job I wouldn't want to do that job. Okay, so now that that's good, we could start space. And oxygen is very breathable right now. I believe my deodorizers are just going to be heating up a little bit. I do want to cool this down, though. Although it's not going to matter in the long term. Because I'm keeping a lot of my massive heat generators completely locked down. But I do feel like I should try to attempt to cool this. But then at the same time, I don't really need to worry. I could start filtering that, which is not bad. And then I need to start my rocketry. So I should have plastic. Which means that it shouldn't be too bad. We get that to here. We're going to have the first rocket on the right side. We're going to run through the solar panels, and it should be fine. Now, this is going to heat up the space ice. Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. A little bit of sulfur over there. We're going to try to keep that uncovered. Or uh, covered up like that. I should be able to mine this entire thing now, and I do want to eventually pop into that. So, I think I do have to start pumping this. There's no really, like, good options. No real good options. You hate to see that kind of thing happen, boys. Alright, so I'm going to run it off the wheel. So we're going to need a wire bridge. And grab this, grab that, go down to the pump. So we're going to start using that to start moving that out. I am just releasing the other gases out in the environment though. Alright, you know what we'll do? I will cut this for now. Because the majority of this is going to be... Uh, carbon dioxide. I'm going to probably want to crush this. So let's make a setup for that. Wait, can I actually crush that? No, I can't. That doesn't actually work. Uber... Uber Gene? That sounds like I'm talking about Bob's Burgers and I'm talking about their son, Gene. Uber Gene. Or I'm trying to get a taxi. Or my friend Gene works at Uber. I gotta... I, 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 a lot of the times, I try to have the Google Phonetics guy pronounce it for me. <laughs> a lot of the times, that's going to be the method of choice. Have that guy pronounce it for us. It looks like it's Auber Aubergine. 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 
Auber, A U. Some some. I want to delete the gas. I want to delete the gas. I don't think there's going to be a way for me to actually delete it, though. I think this has to be the method. Very temporary. <sighs> I hate saying that. <laughs> this is a very temporary solution, guys. Don't worry. Very temporary. So we're going to have to build that, wait for that to work. Shouldn't take too long. And then that should be fine. Get our first rocket platform. The... Oh, that's an opening. I needed that to be built ASAP. And then heavy watt. Just like that. So we can't telescope because there's no power being stored. So my dupes are getting juked out. They're going up top to do the telescope jump, but they can't do it. Feels bad. All right, all right. We're going to be crushing gases here that I don't need. Should be okay. Mule lice is starting to rot. And, oh, that reminds me. I never got my kitchen storage completed. All right. So, guys, this is going to be our food storage system. You're going to want this to be in a vacuum a lot of the times. And it's going to be more beneficial that way. We are going to have this be allow manual use on specific ingredients. That's going to be raw eggs, sleet wheat, nosh beans, pitch pepper plant. That's fine. And then we're going to have edible stuff be this, 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 and spinally grub fruit. Now, when that's done, this is going to go down to deconstruct. We're no longer going to need this here anymore. And then all we have to do is start moving the food into here. So allow manual use, no sweep only. We'll put this on a priority seven. And then this is going to be on a 8. And we should always cook barbecue. For now, we will always do pickled meal lice as well. And then uh, we are not doing grub fruits yet. Cool, cool. Alright. The sweeper should be good. Items go into there. Nice. Oh, I got to get rid of the ladder. That's bopping me. <laughs> oh, crap. He's standing up there to grab the item to re-loop it, dude. Not like this. Thank you, thank you. That's perfect. And I need to get rid of the liquid vents. I'll leave it there for now. It's not going to hurt us. All right. So we're going to be able to start moving our food now. And whatever kind of food we're growing... It's not going to matter. We're going to be able to uh, store it. So I might want to make a little bit of grub fruit now. Just because I know the Sweetos are going to use it to grow into grub grubs. Which is never a bad thing to do. Alright, alright. So I am going to build a grub fruit farm. Now, my base is not too hot. A lot of the places that are warm aren't really that bad. So we're going to start clearing out this spot. Should be fine. This is slime. Ah, I had slime over here in the off gas tank. Let me have that be relocated. And I also want to get this deconstructed if possible. Let's inspect rummage. Inspect rummage. Let's get some uh, sweaters from there. I do need to do this. Start mining this out just to get ready. Get rid of the uh, rust over here. 
we should probably start mining out the slime as well. All this should be mineable now. Dude, look at all this sleep wheat. Dude, 72 deep freeze? Oh, that's a lot of food right there. This is the reason why cold biomes, you should try to seal up anytime you can and stop them from melting. The sleet wheat is a godsend. Deep freeze sterile atmosphere, a lot of the time that's going to happen. I have some here, here, some right there, some right there. Oh, that's a lot of food. That's a lot of food, fam. Get rid of that. Demolish the lockers. Mine this out. Get rid of the ladders. Get rid of these tiles. I hear you, Mamba. He really wants to go outside. I hear you, babies. Alright, so us clearing the map more gives us more space to do more of the uh, things, which is nice. And then mine this out. This is not able to pump, but we can start doing that soon. Especially once we get our rocket up. Look at that. Telescoping. This guy Gorbash doing his job. Good stuff, good stuff. We get to see more about the world. This has to be crude oil. Oh, I should replace that with plastic then. Yeah, that just makes it a lot easier. First things first, we'll see how much oil I could get onto here. Is anyone doing the job? I gotta, I gotta watch them do it. Because I need to uh, drop only 2 kilograms on one tile. So Tanit, if Tanit comes up here, we gotta slow down to 1x speed. Tanit, Tanit. There it is. Three thousand. That's a thousand. I dropped too much. Ah, oh, man. I don't know if I dropped too much or not. Well, should be fine. So, mechanized airlock. Automation. This gets deconned. Tile. And then timer sensor. I actually don't even need a timer. I could just do a switch. Alright, alright. Building our first rocket. Gonna be a CO2 engine. And I am probably going to bop this very soon. We are just deleting the water, but I need to add more space for some more armor trees. <laughs> So we're going to need more lumber for our ethanol. So we're going to try to expand the power next time. We're not going to do that today. Looks like we're able to do this now. Oh, and the other solar panels. There we go. Give me some power to stockpile. Now that we're here, new rocket, CO2 engine. I am going to do... I could do the large space for our module already. Because if this is... uh, Hmm... I guess I could use that. So, battery module, solar panel, and I have how much space? Probably not that much, so we'll just use the solar space forever. And that's the case, it's here, here, here for the ladder scheme. I need to get a pipeline out here. So, I need for the seal to insulate it because the seal two could actually melt. So insulate it to that point. We're going to relocate the oxygen to that line. Redo this to insulated. And then a little bit more. Like that. And then we'll run it on a regular pipeline here. Yeah, that should be fine. There we go. All right, all right. Igneous, not bad, not bad. Hey, the automation started. So, 5 seconds, 600 seconds. 
and that's going to be good. Whoa, wait a second. I need a vent line from the output. That's actually how it should be, and I think we got it. And then we would need a pipeline from this to here, and it's connected. Nice, nice. Get our first rocket, get the fuel lined up. Gonna start doing some databank research. Gonna start exploring space. Finally, boys. It took us only a couple hundred cycles, but we got to space. I need to start pumping out the uh, gases. Need to do more sweeping. I don't think we're going to go to the bottom of the map. We could tap into that geothermal power. I don't think it's necessary, though. Outside of that, this is pretty good. My bathroom water is maxing out. Am I in need of water? Uglarvis, I see you over there. Dude, man, isn't it late? Isn't it like 4 in the morning where you're at, man? <laughs> like, man, you're up late, my friends. I appreciate it, man, but damn. Hopefully it's, you know, you're getting enough sleep. I am a uh, supporter of getting a lot of sleep. Because when you don't get sleep, man, it's a tough time. Oh, I don't have enough ethanol? Oh, come on. All right. So I need to turn off my rad bolts again. It's 7 a.m. and you're worth it. Hey, thank you, X-Cage. On my side, it's 6 a.m. Damn, dude. Where are you guys at? You guys are like... All right. I have no idea geographic locations. I just know you guys are probably east of London. <laughs> I have no idea which countries are east of London. None of them. Feels bad, man. Guys, should I play EU4 just to start learning geographic locations of different countries? <laughs> I heard EU4 was great at that. That you learn a lot of placement of where the countries are. Working at the night shift at the moment? Oh, I see you. I see you. Are you snacking on cheddar and Nutella, dude? <laughs> oh, man. I'm still impressed that, that, that that's a snack, man. Gotta wait for the dupes to catch up. Alright, so we got a box of chlorine. This This is melting because of the crack at the bottom. So there's no way we could save that. I do want to make this a little bit tighter so that it doesn't do anything. Nothing to do at the moment. Yo, it'd be like that, man. Night chips. Do you guys like night chips? Those of you that uh, have it. Because I'm not going to lie, man. I've heard that the craziest shit always happens at night. But then it's like everyone you talk to that has a night shift, they always say, oh, it's pretty chill, nothing happens. No one ever stops by. Things like that. Are they eating hexalent fruit? Oh, that's illegal. What? You can't be eating that. What are you guys doing? We are also with the pickled meals. No more eating meal lice. And barbecue, so no more eating meats. No more eating raw food, man. Cooked food only. Cooked food is life. Cooked food is life. So, this is my freezer right now, you guys. It's in a vacuum. My nosh beans are in deep freeze. And then we have no food at the bottom. Feels bad. Oh, it's not being picked up because... uh. I didn't have the cooked food on there yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. So pickled meal, barbecue. Nothing else is cooked. Nice. So that means they're finally going to put food into there. And we'll take the hatchling. This was fine, but it could be really tough when something bad happens. Yeah, man. It's at night. No one's going to pick up the calls if you have to call someone. I hear it can get tough.
But I hear a lot of times it's pretty chill. I hear a lot of times it's pretty chill. Hope that's the case, man. Can I even reach that? I can. Man, I got a dupe with plus uh, with tidy supply and both were plus eight. Feels like a waste. Think about it this way. Anytime you're building anything, all you have to do is make one supply trip. Because they're mad buff. <laughs> and then you give them beefsteak, dude. And get, get them to 30 strength. He'll just do one, one, uh, one round trip. All the tiles are supplied now with Igneous Rock. No, not this for all. I hope it's all good, man. Hope nothing bad's happening. It sounded like that was one of those speak of the devil moments. I gotta let the dupes work right now, which is gonna be fine. Alright guys, this is probably gonna be a good spot to wrap things up. This has pretty much been an 8 hour stream. I'm kinda happy with this. So, this is pretty good. So let me get the save in.